This is Patrice Wenling from Elsevier Global Medical News. I'm here speaking with Juanita Crook from the University of Toronto, and she's just presented her experience with 19 years of penile cancer. Could you please explain a little bit about what you found using brachytherapy in this group? Brachytherapy is an organ conserving and curative type of treatment. I learned it during a fellowship in France. It's been widely used in Europe and also in uh, India and other places published on it, but it's little used, little known in North America. After my fellowship in France, I started doing this on cases that were referred to me in my practice in Ottawa. And as soon as I had acquired a few cases, I presented it to the local urologist and then at Canadian urology meetings. And with this, built up an awareness, at least in Canada, of the availability of this procedure. Um, so that's why I've gathered such quite a large personal experience over the past 19 years. And I don't think any urologist really likes to do a penile amputation. Most of the urologists are men. They sympathize greatly with their patients. So they're very glad to, to have this option available. And patients fly in to see me from Vancouver, from Newfoundland, from all, all parts of Canada. Why has it been so slow to catch on in the United States? Um, again, because it's a rare disease, so many uh, radiation oncologists in training may never see a case of it, um, and their, their teachers, their mentors, um, have never learned this technique, so you have to have been exposed to it. I was fortunate I was in France, a case came through, and I, I, I learned the technique there and was able to bring it back with me. In the 74 patients that you presented today, um, what was your failure rate and how does that compare to the other uh, Only 12% of the men developed a local recurrence of the cancer, which is quite excellent. And um, at five years after treatment, 88% of the men uh, were able to preserve their penis and were still functioning. The ones that were sexually active beforehand still maintained their potency. What is it about brachytherapy that is so effective? Um, it's a very accurate way of delivering the radiation to a very limited volume, um, and you can get a very high dose quite safely. The penis is difficult to treat with external beam radiation because it's a small organ. Uh, you have to uh, position it so beams can be brought in. It's just technically difficult to do well with external radiation. Should a physician have a case and come across that rare case, what would they do? What would be their best options for that patient? Uh, to inquire as to which of the radiation oncology centers in their state or in their part of the, the country uh, might have this expertise. Um, even inquiring with the American Brachytherapy Office, would, they would probably be able to get that information. Thank you, Dr. Kirk. I very much appreciate your time. This is Patrice Wenling from Elsevier Global Medical News.